That's a little too heavy. All right. All right. Hot and humid. Man, it's pretty sticky out here. Wish you guys had field of vision. Day 49. Welcome back to the homestead. 49 days, part time. Me, the wife, Gary, Marge. Huge blessing. Thanks a lot. Uh, some subscribers, right? Some of you guys came over and helped out, and a few friends. And that's what's up. I mean, that's pretty good, right? So we're gonna get really cooking now. And uh, today is the really the next important part of this roofing system, uh, interior and exterior. It benefits both ceiling and roofing. There was a slight chance of rain today, but I think it's gonna hold off. And uh, we're gonna get busy on this next part. You guys are gonna be like, what? But when you see it all come together, it's gonna make perfect sense. And then hopefully it'll motivate you if you're building a structure. A lot of you guys are leaving the city and building your, your shed houses and your off-grid houses, and maybe even considering a log cabin kit from Gaston O Log Homes. Uh, which has been really solid for us. As you can see, I mean, even this turmoil with all the problems with materials and everything, uh, we haven't skipped a beat here with Gaston Olog Homes. So we've had everything here in the pile, ready to go a little bit ahead of time. Uh, it's been working out real good. So there's a link down below uh, this video here, or you can always check out our website, Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. Hit the general store tab, and that, like that has all our cool stuff. Stacy's cookbook uh, that she made for you guys with all of our good wholesome recipes with not a lot of stuff in them uh, salad dressings you can make at home just a lot of cool stuff i'm actually going to make a meal for you guys on video here coming up because i lost a little bit of a bet about the thumbs up or comments or something in a video a little while ago ah you guys got me on that one so i'll be doing that and uh, plus we have our chocolate tea there so it's off grid with doug and so hope you guys enjoy this video hopefully you guys are not only uh you know having fun hanging out with us but you're learning stuff like this drying plane and how the heat leaves the roof and how the stuff uh, helps you know make the roof last longer you know that's what we want we want to be able to hand this down uh, from generation to generation so that's what it's all about right legacy so this is mom's legacy and it's my legacy it's just like a multi-generational legacy you know but this is mom's retirement house and uh, she worked her whole life and put it all into this house and then it's uh, my legacy, you know, because I'm building it for my mom, and that's been cool. And it's Hunter, and, uh, you know, they've helped, you know, the great-grandkids, and the grandkids came in, remember? Uh, the boys were here. It's just been really cool, man, and all the friends, and uh, Gary and Marge and Jerry. And it's just, you know, been really, really neat, really, really inspiring in times like this. I'll hate to tell you, but it has been really refreshing, so... So we got a little bit more to go. Stay tuned on every video. Make sure you're hitting that subscribe button, no bell for notifications. That way you know every time we upload a video because I'm pretty sporadic. Like you might get a video every day this week and then next week I might hit a couple days and it's just hard to keep up. I do all the filming, the editing, the construction, the rib breaking. I do all that around here. <laughs> Let's go. Hey Gary, got your cup. <laughs> Yeah, we just got a few things to move around. I just want to make sure uh, we're going to be able to move around for phase two of the roofing system. And I can feel that heat coming on. It makes a big difference now. When we were uh, working during the coolness of the early spring and Coming out of winter there, it's pretty good. And now we're in full blown summer. But you also need the summer temperatures to help dry all this stuff. Also, you're gonna need it uh, to do the staining, preserve the wood. So some things are beneficial, you know, when it comes to building, just not your body temperature. <laughs> but I guess it is beneficial because sweating is really good for you, man. It pushes out all the toxins in your body. And then you're supposed to eat a bunch of great food, salad from the garden, and meat you grew yourself, and all that stuff you eat. Uh, well, <laughs> and then, you know, your body's supposed to feel really good, see? This is what this whole cycle of life is about. And the seasons, you know? Yeah, it's good stuff. And the interesting thing is, is uh, kind of different, isn't it? In this video here, but you see that on the homestead. You know, the bees, they make winter bees. The bees get a little bigger. You know, um, 
you see the ch the apples with the apples coming on and then falling off and then we're picking them and then the leaves fall off you know and the trees go dormant and we kind of go dormant a little bit in the winter time as well it's time we get caught up on our other things around the homestead instead of growing and stuff so I don't know, I just really enjoy this lifestyle, I guess, and I'm just rambling, so let me get back to cleaning up. <laughs> just basically want to make sure all the big stuff's kind of out of the way. Big stuff that I can handle anyway. generator is loud that thing can run some stuff though so the gable ends aren't going to get any venting so that uh, foam will go right up against there I'm gonna show you that as he does it and then on the uh, other stuff you guys saw all the vents we put in and so now the next process he's got this little mixture together and you got to really know what you're doing with this stuff or it can get pretty bad okay so this is not really a DIY project on such a large scale. You want to hire professionals, all right? That's my advice, strictly, all right? Well, it's good advice, good sound advice. So we're gonna watch this guy uh, put on the foam here, see how it turns out, and then we're gonna talk about it at the end. It's kinda cool. And then uh, if you got any questions, we'll answer those in the comment section below, so leave them there. Getting at it in there, boy. I bet it's hot in that suit, too. 
And he's got hair going up to his face mask and stuff. You don't want to breathe that stuff. I'm trying to stay way away from it. I got my big teleporter lens on there trying to get you guys the video so you can see how the foam goes up there and it seals all that stuff up and it expands out. And then we got to let that off gas and cure and stuff. And that's why we don't have the windows and doors in. And that's why we're not in a big hurry with the tin. And, you know, we got to let everything have its process. So, Whew. yeah. But uh, that's a low VOC, they call it, because it's mixed with water as they spray it in. And so, you know, it's, of course, it's got some chemicals in it. But once it cures and dries, it doesn't off gas or anything. It's, if it's done right, and, you know, these guys are professionals, they do it right. That's why we hired them. And uh, so we'll leave the windows and doors out and let the stuff cure, you know. And later on this week, the tent will be in. So we'll get the tin put on, and then we have to clean the building and then stain it. And then after we do that, there's one more thing we have to do. But after we stain it, we'll start putting the windows and doors in, which gives all that stuff plenty of time to cure, okay? So nobody's really gonna be inside for a while, and Gary and I are gonna be working on the outside, finishing up the gable ends, getting the soffits done. We're in the home stretch, only three more weeks. Yeah, mom sold all of her bedroom furniture. Since 1983, she's had her bedroom furniture. <laughs> this is really gonna be something, man. Good stuff, so thanks for coming back to the homestead as always, checking out the build for mom, bringing her out of the city and into the country. And uh, we'll just keep watching and see how this all goes down. It's kinda neat if you've never seen it before, huh? If you've got any questions, leave them below in the comment section. A bit of storm clouds trying to move in too. Eyes on the skies. A gully washer. I didn't get it on camera, man. I missed it getting it just pouring, but holy smokes did it pour. Hold on a second. There's the creek that the kid's been hopping across. Look at that thing. Boy, listen to that, Mom. You have a nice little sound right outside your window. Listen. People pay big money for that. And that is what you call a gully washer. We even got some uh, water inside the house here. Holy smokes.
Yeah, it was really coming down. It just came on, boy. Came on. Came on fast and furious. Whew. Yeah, look at this. That right there is an official gully washer. I think what happened was, uh, see they got this, they gotta leave this gas cap open right here when they're operating, that's the fuel line. And so they have to cover that up and then if something was going on with their compressor. Plus it just doesn't make good sense to uh, blow that stuff in there. If there's water coming in and whatever. So they wrapped it up and they'll be back tomorrow. So that's an official gully washer washout right there. <laughs> So uh, hopefully you guys understand a few things about the foam and there's an open cell foam and there's a closed cell foam. We kind of went over this stuff before. Um, we use the open cell foam. The closed cell foam is, foam is more expensive and they also use a chemical to send that through which makes it more expensive and it's more toxic. But it is more dense. Uh, so the foam guy... Uh, I was talking to him about it, the different types, and he was just saying, like, if you wanted to do something more structural, you'd go with the closed cell before our application. The open cell is perfect. And then we still have another phase to put on that ceiling. So don't go anywhere, man. It's going to be interesting. And then when we seal that all up, it's going to be airtight. And then that way, uh, none of the air will leave and none of the hot air will come down from the top and bleed into mom's house. I'm just kind of looking around the creek there. I just saw something go across the road. <laughs> it wasn't nothing to mine, uh, but uh, lots of wildlife around here. And a water like this and weather like this that shakes up everybody because they're just like hanging out. It was kind of hot and all of a sudden this water's just moving everything around. I'll take you back down by the creek here before we get out of here. Show you what happened, but there you go. Day uh, 49 in the books. So when we come back, we'll finish up this here. Uh, me and Gary are going to work on this gable end right here. We've got to tie back wrap that. And then we're going to start putting the sheeting on the gable ends and then working on the porch roof and the soffits. And uh, then once we get all that done, we'll be washing the place. And then we'll show you all these steps. So you got to show up every video. It's up to you if you want to watch the progress. <laughs> hey, but thanks for showing up. We do appreciate it. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Oh, let's go down here and see the creek and then we'll say goodbye. Well, we already said goodbye, but if you want to see the creek, hang on a second. <laughs>